Let's go to the man himself right now, former speaker, political gladiator, Newt Gingrich, here with us this morning. We heard about it. We heard you were saying it. We saw that you're writing it. What do you want to happen? Well, I think that with Speaker Pelosi's comments last Thursday, particularly the ones in which she alleged that the Central Intelligence Agency routinely lies to Congress, that she really disqualified herself to be Speaker. I mean, there's no problem with her being a member of the House. So you but think... I think the Democrats should get a new Speaker. And the reason is the Speaker is third in line to be President. She has a unique responsibility for national security. If you were a CIA agent today and you were told, go brief Nancy Pelosi, how could you have any sense of confidence in telling her anything when you know, A, that she, she almost certainly has, has misinformed us about what happened in 2002, but B, she made this allegation that basically smears every person in the intelligence community who's trying to defend America. And I think it was very telling that, that Leon Panetta, former Democratic congressman, uh, former chief of staff to President Clinton, uh, issued a very strong statement as director of the Central Intelligence Agency. But as we know, there's a lot of ambiguity about what really happened that long ago at that meeting, and we haven't seen the documentation well, that. from the I'm, CIA I'm not, yet. I think that's a question for the House to decide. Does it want to investigate whether or not she misled us about that meeting in 2002? That, that, Thursday, she changed the, the standard because Thursday, she made a clear, direct statement that the Central Intelligence Agency lies to Congress right, routinely. Was her but term. why did you wait over the weekend? Why not say it immediately if you felt she should quit? Well, I, thought, I mean, Friday morning I said I thought that it was that it was totally reprehensible and that I, I couldn't believe. I mean, you have to recognize we're in the middle of two wars. We have a global conflict with terrorism. There are men and women around the world today risking their lives for this country in the very agency that she is smearing. And I just think that for the Congress to allow the third-ranking person to be president, to be a person who is this lacking in, in respect for national security is very dangerous for the country. So let me get this clear. If she had said we have a difference of memory about what happened that, there? The 2002 event's totally different. There, there are two events here. Whatever happened in 2002, the House probably ought to have an investigation. They ought to find out. I mean, because that, there were eight people in the room, and there, there's a way to find out whether or not she simply didn't hear what was said or it wasn't said. Because there are differing that's, memories that's among thing. the people in the room. What she said Thursday is a stunning, dishonest statement about a major American institution that has a key role in our survival. But as you know, some people have said that you're doing this for political reasons. It's really a political salvo that you're hurling at her and a kind of double standard. For instance, a Congressman Peter Huckster, who was head of the House Intelligence Committee at the time, wrote a letter in which he, on another issue, said this about the CIA. We cannot have an intelligence community that covers up what it does and then lies to Congress. That's a Republican yes. saying it, and they're saying, where were you? then you didn't call for him to resign well I think I think in that particular letter he's fighting with them over a particular report he wants this is about a year and a half ago but I've, I've had a similar standard of toughness with Republicans uh, on other issues uh, for example Secretary Paulson when he was when he I thought he was failing as secretary so of should he be repudiated for those words too well in that case he's writing a specific letter asking them to change something that they were doing uh, so he did not say in that lies, letter the CIA says, routinely lies to the Congress well, he says lies. He says what it does and then lies to Congress. And I think, I think that they actually had to come back and, and uh, testify. I, I think that it's important for Congress to keep the CIA under observation. It's important for them to have the CIA report regularly. But I think what, what Panetta said Friday is very telling. It is illegal to lie to Congress. And the CIA doesn't do it. And Panetta said it is harming this institution. He made a speech Monday in which he said, this is harming the institution. And I have no sense that, I mean, I would certainly, if I were a, a, a person trying to defend this country, I'd have very little confidence that the Speaker of the House had any regard for what we were doing and what we we're trying to do to stop terrorism. Just in practical terms, we heard John Carl say that, uh, that a lot of the Democrats have rallied around her. She has said that this is ridiculous. No indication that a move is afoot among Democrats to do anything. Do you really think that your call is going to be regarded? Do you think, think anything is look, going to happen? I think the country has to ask itself whether or not there's a standard of honesty and whether or not there is a standard of concern for national security. 
that ought to be in our third highest office after the president and the vice president. It's the only constitutional office in the legislature. The Democrats can do whatever they want to for the moment. But I think even Democrats have to be concerned that she clearly is not telling the truth and that she clearly did not tell the truth on Thursday. And anybody who looks at that press conference, it's pretty obvious this is not a calm, confident witness uh, sharing with you her best memories.